Smile is a really easy program to make uh, slideshows. Uh, so this is how it looks like when you open it. And um, let me see here. You have to create a new project. So we're going to do one. And I'll uh, put it in whatever photo you want. Uh, and uh, the output, uh, if you are, uh, you know, in the European areas or the Japan, use PAL. Now they have a standard here in widescreen for PAL. I don't know why they don't have, uh, you know, they have NTSC for like North America uh, standard here, but they don't have a widescreen. I don't know why, but uh, so I'm gonna select that one for standard. Okay, so we have our new project here. Now you can load in, uh, you know, pictures here. So we're gonna load in some pictures. Uh, I don't know why, but you can't highlight all the pictures you want. Uh, you have to do it singly. So you have to click on it and hold control like this. Uh, you can either drag it down or um, you can do this, you know, right click on it and import. Or the other way is just to drag this uh, into the timeline down here. And see, you have it down here. <clears throat> uh, so that's how you do it. And after that, we just close that part out. So we have our uh, stuff here. Uh, like I said before, you can use um, video clips too if you want. I don't really recommend video clips because um, they only take the JPEGs of of the, the videos, and it doesn't look that good. But if you want to do that, you can do that. Now with the slideshow, there's always uh, you know music uh, associated with it. So you want to add in your own music. Um, just right click on this uh, timeline here, or the project here. Add to uh, add audio track, and just look for your MP3 or whatever the hell you're using. So I'm gonna use that one. Open, and you can see that the orange line is uh, our song. Okay. <clears throat> now, as for this program, you can do some stuff with it. Like, um, let me see here. You see on the side here, they have a toolbar. Uh, X is uh, the X position, Y, and this uh, Z is like rotation. And this thing is right here is like uh, zooming. So let me show you what it does. See this one is the, the X position, right? What the fuck? Uh, y, you know, flipping, and Z would be like uh, you know, rotation like this. Uh, pretty hard to control this shit. And this is uh, what is this? This is diagonal. <laughs> and this is the zoom. So you zoom in, zoom out. Uh, so that's what they got right now. And you can do keyframes with that. Uh, let me show you. Let's say you want um, it to see. Normally it will run like this. Okay, it'll do nothing. And it just skips to the next page, right? But uh, if you want to uh, do like uh, the effects. First, you have to start it out with um, defining the the first uh, key point. So, click on the green shit first. First, you select the the you know the picture. Click on the green shit and then do some. Uh, let's say you want to flip it uh, or I mean uh, the Y position, like this, right? And after that, you hit on the red one, and it should uh, you know save the keyframe. So when you play it now, it should you know do the animation that we just did. So that's uh, what you can do with that, and you can do the same thing, you know. But you have to use uh, the flag here, the starting point and the end point, okay? Uh, so that's one thing. <coughs> and what is this one? I'll click on this. Uh, this one's kind of like patterns. Uh, you can have some patterns here. So let me let me get one. Um, and let's get the star one here, okay? And you can do the stars. You see? on the side. You can change colors and uh, you know the everything like here if you want. Now if you need to erase it then you have the eraser. But uh let me do some. There, there. Okay, that looks okay. <laughs> uh so that's what we got. Let's say we want to uh you know move the images too. So we we'll define the first point and let's say we do the zooming on like that. Zooming like that. Or maybe like bigger or something, right? No, no, let's zoom smaller. And then uh, endpoint. So let's see how this looks like. There we go. Right? That's pretty cool. 
and uh, you can do some other stuff over here also like uh, let's say you want transitions um, they only have like one transition now you know so let's say you click on this image and you want to crossfade that's the only one they have uh, that's pretty much it so next time when uh, you're done with the the image let me see this one right see it does a little crossfade there uh, you can do text also I, I believe or some uh, some animation some other effects here so let's say this picture here right let me go back to that one make it shrink first oh uh, what up that's the zoom one there we go let's say um, let me see they have what the hell is this they have fucking hearts here or snow flowers and teddy bears and shit so I'm gonna go fully gay and uh, use the hearts alright <laughs> and I do the size up I gotta turn the size up huh? well, there we go see that's what that's another thing you can do um, you can also do text let me see I'll show you text let me see here the title here so let me put in my uh, let's see alright if you can see that let me turn up the the size here 72 so I think you can see that let me change the color so you can see like maybe blue see blue and maybe opacity so you can see that All right that's pretty cool um so that's some of the things you can do with this program and it's pretty easy you know just point click uh, it's not that hard so let's say we play this see how it looks like okay that looks cool and you get the hard shit right? now if you're satisfied with all your stuff uh, we can go and render it now all right there's the render button here and I give it a name uh, whatever you want uh... what else here um... They have MPEG 2, uh, XVID, DV, and Flash. Uh, use the MPEG if you're gonna do like uh, you know converting to DVDs or something like that. If you're gonna upload online, maybe Flash or uh, XVID. And DV, I'm not really sure, but I usually don't use that. Uh, name what we want: normal, high. Uh, the first one we're gonna do normal, and that's pretty much it. Uh, hit start, and it should start rendering it. You see how it's grayed out right here and uh, just wait until it's done alright so it's in encoding the project ba boom done bitches and uh, you can hear the, the music can you? So that's cool alright so that's how you use smile and uh, it's, like I said it's pretty easy this app is uh, not that hard to use and if you want to do like DVDs and shit like that uh, that's another program uh, this one only does slideshows alright and you can uh, export it to uh, you know a, a, a video format so you can uh, load it up on YouTube or uh, on your, your DVD player whatever the hell it is uh, so that is it for Smile